<laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, this is something we get requested from a lot of folks to talk about. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Because it doesn't, it's, it's completely, but it's, it's silly, but it's kind of fun. That's what it we're here for. So this is a fun, silly, enjoy, and like, and share comments, have a good time. But out of all the famous people in history, music, theater, acting, whatever it may be, race car driving, but whose guitar, amp, or gear would you want to own of those cats? That's what we want to get into for a minute. Yeah, so that's a good question. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's roll as fast as we can in this thing because this is super groundbreaking news. It's got it. You got to know. You can't wait. <laughs> um, God, I mean, I was gonna say something still, and this is just no. You go, you go first. I'm sorry. We'll see. I was thinking about this. I, it's not always necessarily my favorite players because I like gear for the sake of gear. Okay, yeah. So sometimes sense. it's like guys that I don't really, I mean, it's not that I don't think they're good players, but I don't care as much. Maybe I'm not a super fan, but I, like, like I would love to have Kirk Hammett's, you know, the 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 Les Paul that was Gary Moore's and was um, oh, Peter Green's. The Greeny. That would be amazing. That, that, okay. That's Am I a huge like... Metallica fan? Nah. Not really. I mean, I don't dislike them. Well, I just, I'll know. jump in with Derek. Like Derek behind the camera, like he, this is sort of what was one of the, the fire starters for this video idea to his own, Billy Gibbons. Anything by Billy Gibbons he wants. He seems to be the coolest thing to have. You know, obviously the Les Paul, but just kind of anything. Just anything. Because we were, then we started scouring the internet and we found like these cool amps that have been owned by Aerosmith or other groups that are, like, are quite affordable. That's probably the way if you want. You know, amps. some of your favorite bands' gear. Buy amps. Something like I have my Camel's amp, which is a huge one for me. We've got um, one of Sammy Hagar's in the shop right yeah. now. So there you go. Theoretically. Theoretically, maybe. We don't have Possible. complete authenticity on it, but that's what we were told. I mean, so, I'd love to have like so a Dwayne Allman or like a Dickie Betts guitar. That would be amazing. You know, or even like Warren Haynes or Derek Trucks. That would be amazing. I would love to have a Clapton guitar. Yeah, I mean, Clapton's probably the number one uh, of just anything of Clapton's, like from his acoustics. Yeah. Any of his strats. Like even like the ones with like the, the ultras, the lace sensors, whatever. Heck yeah. Like yeah, a stuff. Clapton guitar. And he's played gaggles of them. I mean, my number one just fanboy fandom would be like Noel Gallagher. Yes. I like to have like, you know, one of his 335s or something. And God, that would be ridiculously just, cool. Or right? 355 is what they just released of his, which I have a 355. So I was like, I don't want to buy it. I already have one. And it's stereo. I don't want another stereo guitar. Mm. I mean, I'd love to have a Joe Walsh guitar. I think that would be Who's awesome. He? Yeah, you know, just some, some unknown player. It is funny because, like, I, um, I do, like, his his solo from the band is, like, so separate to me. So different, yeah. It's so separate. Like, I can't even equate the two. What's funny, like, if, have you ever been, have you seen The Eagles Live? No. 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 When Like, you know, they do these long shows, and it, they're all hits. They're all songs you know. But there's a point where they just, like, let Joe Walsh do his stuff, like, solo oh. stuff. And it's, like, everything else is amazing and perfect. But you're not just like happy go lucky. You're like, oh my god, this is amazing, perfect. And then Joe Walsh comes out and it's like a party. Uh, and that's it's super fun because it's different. You that's know, like, it's just that's a, what they do now. Okay. Yeah, and they, I mean, they do some, uh, you know, like uh, Don Henley solo stuff, and they did the Glenn Fry solo thing when he was still with us. But, um, but yeah, you know. Now, I wouldn't mind a Bill Bellamy guitar either from Muse. Because they have the little I mean, chaos yeah. man. And and just, <laughs> just like he's just so cool. Yeah, he's cool. That's a cool guy. But obviously the classic. Uh, you know, we're all like SRB Hendrix. Yeah. I'd like to have one of the Edge's guitars. I think that'd be cool. And he likes the 70s strats, too. Or maybe like a nice Edge uh, old amp, like an old Vox or an old Tweed. Be super cool. He is a tone junkie. Yeah. Now, I'd say Jack White, but... I mean... It's a lot of trash guitars, too. I, I know. It's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, some of the guys that I love, I don't necessarily want their guitars. Like, I would love, just because I'm a Gretsch fan, I'd love to have, like, a Brian Setzer Gretsch. But, I, you know, I'm not, like, a super fan of Brian, Brian Setzer. What? I know. I mean, I I've am. been sitting next to you in these bench for years, and I did not know you weren't a Brian Setzer super fan. He is one of the best live shows I've ever seen. We went the to Ryman. that together. We went to that together. but And that one was good. That but was when fun. I saw him at the Ryman, I was, like, front row, center and it was and the ramen just sounds amazing. He's it's amazing. Incredible. He's a fantastic like, player. If you like, and he's just cool. Swing or not, it doesn't matter. His playing abilities are outrageous. amazing. And like, and it's not like just showing off moves just to show off his dexterity, which he can do. It's his musicality is yeah. a different level. It's really good. And his phrasing, it's off the charts. It's Pretty yeah. Wild. Just, if you had a chance to go see him live, go see him while he's still in the youngish world. Yeah. Yeah. 
What about like uh, what about session players' guitars where you know they played on lots of hit? No, because they don't they don't matter. Okay, yeah. they're not important. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, I mean I would like because I'm a big fan of Motown. Yeah. And so like any like, I would like any like the Motown gear even like the recording right. console. Yes. Like so I, when if you go if you have a chance to go to Detroit, you go, I I didn't go this last time I was in Detroit. I've been, but the Motown Museum in the engineering booth, the floor is all caved in from where the engineers are like tapping their feet so hard. <laughs> And like just to have that floor, that's awesome. I'd like to put that in my kitchen, you know, and just like here's the floor, and my kids would all fall when they hit it. That'd be great. No, but just all that. Stuff. I love anything from the Sun Records sort of period too, like Elvis, Carl Perkins, be like super cool. Jerry Lewis, all that stuff. I I love that that fifties, late fifties rock and roll. Yeah, but see, like I love the Beatles don't really care i like i don't i mean you know like i'd want it from the collector sort of like maybe it's worth money <laughs> status but it's just a, like do i want any of that gear do i want a casino the beatles <laughs> the, the beatles like it's we've talked about this before not in a video but you and i off you know in the real world out there mm-hmm. but um the, the we people do don't really talk yeah, in real life they don't they don't they don't it's not like a tone that a lot of people try to chase as much because it wasn't about that you know it wasn't because it, well, it was it just, only it works so perfectly within their context of what they're doing, but like just like the Vox yeah. sort of Rick sound sometimes or the Vox like casino sound isn't necessarily the best sound for everything. Right, agreed. Unless you're tone deaf, because it's awesome always. Vox forever. No, no, but it's um, yeah. The Beatles tone is not like the the holy grail of tone chasers usually. Right. Um, it's just different. That's, yeah. That's a whole video That's there. True. But no, no, it's um. Yeah, I mean, besides those, anybody else you can think of that's your magic? Yeah, I mean, God. Don't worry, Derek. We already got the Billy Gibbons. We're <laughs> we there. we we're, talked we're, about Billy Gibbons. We're, we're I mean, there. that would be really, really cool. Um, amps are the way to go, though. It's the affordable way in. I mean, there's like bands who are probably, I think it'd be almost more fun, like bands that just you have a connection to, that like maybe are not the superstar, like, oh, I want Eric Clapton Strat. Like, I'd love to have anything from Blackberry Smoke. I, I think that would be. Oh, well, I've cool. already made a deal with like you know? um, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill Troy Van Leeuwen and okay. take his gear. He has because cool. I think he has five Echo Parks. Yeah. And so I'm gonna take those. Fine. And then I'm gonna get some of his other. He has some great amps. That's I was gonna cool, say like lap steels. But he has cool amps. Yeah. He has cool like weird stuff that I like. So I'm gonna take his gear. Yeah. But um, you know, and he, and he knows me a little bit now, so he, he would trust me. So you could get close for the kill. That's that's how it works. Okay. I learned that from Angelina Jolie and Wanted. <laughs> Did you learn how to curve bullets too? No, I just I learned how to flip a car and shoot someone through the sunroof. That was the most important part. Very realistic movie. of the movie. But um, no, I I would love to hear what you guys like dream like folks are to have the gear from. Yeah, it's it's fascinating because Danish Pete. I did almost. I there was like there was a point when Danish Pete. <laughs> there was a point when like Noel Gallagher was auctioning off his gear and like I looked at it. Yep. And then I remember there's a point I could just couldn't get it. And then Derek and I were looking at some stuff that Jack White had, and we were trying to get some of it. I remember that. But it just it just went a little bit too expensive. It's like some of the studio lights. That's what we wanted. It was that, and I think when we were looking at like an orange cab or something like that, like mm-hmm. some cabs. Yeah, that was uh, cool. Yeah. So let us know like what you guys are sniffing for, and thanks for ins- just enjoying the journey with us. It's fun. It's true. It's a fun yeah. trip here. Um, that's it. I'm gonna go home. And Let's do it. Take a shower. I mean, this is ready. basically home. You're right. We're essentially home. We're home. Yeah. We're going to surround the wall and take a shower in the bathroom. Godspeed. <laughs>